original roadmap, this next step would have, it would get rid of the five kilometer rule and there would be yes. no travel restrictions. So yes. why have you now put in place the 25 kilometer rule? Because that's a public health advice and it will assist us in uh, greater certainty about less movement than would otherwise be the case. So uh, are you that able to explain the science and data behind 25 kilometers? No, I've already dealt with that. I think I dealt with that off the top where I said to you that I can't attribute to that one measure a percentage public health dividend. It's a package of measures. And you know, you're, you're free to try and pick apart each and every part of the rules. Uh, and there's been a bit of that going on for quite some time. That's fine. You, that's fine. Impact people's lives, so it's well, they do impact people's but lives, but I tell you what they, yeah, and I tell you what they also impact. They also impact 725 cases becoming two. That's what they impact. And that means we've got opportunities that, that France doesn't have, most of the United States doesn't have, uh, opportunities that England doesn't have. The list goes on and on. Victorians can be proud, optimistic and more than hopeful. They can just look at the data and the stories that sit behind that data. This package of measures with pain, of course, and with consequences has worked. Uh, I cannot attribute a percentage dividend to every single item in the package. That's the nature of how packages work. They're a package of different things and they all contribute to delivering a strategy. And there's simply no getting around the fact uh, that we've gone from 725 cases to five days in a row, the last five days, in single figures. And I think that's something Victorians should be proud of and optimistic about. And if we can move further next weekend, we will. If not, we will move the following weekend. Uh, and as others are going into a deadly COVID winter, we are building, every Victorian is building a COVID safe summer and a COVID normal 2021. And I think, that, I think that's a deeply impressive thing.